morning, everybody. As you notice, we uh, we add some stuff. We take things off of our objectives. It's a living document. We're paying attention to what we're doing and what the agency's asked us to do. Uh, that's how it works, right? We get direction from the agency. They give it to the team. Team comes up with a plan. We pass it down to, to you all, and you take it out in the woods and implement it. Part of that implementation, as we've been talking about, is coming up with ideas and ways for us to do things better. We count on the folks on the ground to do that. Uh, Chris Schulte, the IC, and I, PNW2, we've been working on uh, intent-based leadership. We give you some intent, and then we let you make the decisions on the ground because you're the closest to where the action is and can make the best decisions. We make sure we stay inside the big ballpark, but that's uh, the direction we'd like to go. We've been talking the last couple of days about right side, not right side, but staffing to the, the operational need of this incident and making things available for other fires. Yesterday, we got a chance to test a little bit of that. There's a good sized fire going on down the road here. Uh, governor's uh, enacted the Conflagration Act. Uh, ODF team is on its way to be in place. We're supplying as much uh, resources as we can to them to be uh, able to help that out. That's what our goal has been for the last couple of days is fire behavior has dwindled on this fire. We've met our mop-up standard in many areas on the fire. We did a burnout operation, got that going looking good. We're mopping up that. The idea is to secure up as much of this as we can to keep the fire from moving forward and then make ourselves available for other fires in the area. That fire started out pretty small. We had a heavy, couple heavy helicopters and a medium helicopter on it within uh, minutes of it being reported, and it was over 500 acres the last I heard last night. So being prepared to go and move and do what we need to do, making sure that we're meeting our mission here and getting this wrapped up, getting things available to help out in other areas is super important for us uh, to be focused on today. So make sure that you know what you're doing, who you're working for again. We're going to take care of each other out there today and take your, start working on making sure we get stuff that's on the fire off back into the system so that we can get it ready for the next fire. Appreciate all your work. Good morning, everybody. Um, incident meteorologist Dave Schallenberger. Uh, the one thing I want to hit on today is today's one, going to be one of those watch out days. So I'm sure you all heard we had this dry cold front coming in today. Uh, going to start out the day with southwest winds. Uh, see some uh, four to six mile per hour winds. Could see a few gusts early today. And that's going to shift around uh, to the west as this front begins to push in. I expect, I expect frontal passage to be this afternoon around 1800, uh, give or take a half an hour in between. Uh, and we're going to see those northwest winds kick in. Uh, going to see some pretty decent gusts out there, up to 20 miles an hour. Wouldn't be surprised to see a little bit higher, uh, mainly on the ridge tops. Uh, we'll go through the day dealing with our normal up valley upslope winds, uh, and even those could gust up to 10 miles per hour at times. Uh, are starting off a little cooler today. Going to see a little bit cooler. RHs are still going to be up. Um, I don't expect to see any teens out there, more like lower 20s, mid 20s, but still. Uh, this is one of those days where uh, we have a wind shift coming, something to be mindful of. Uh, strong gusty northwest winds coming in late in the day. So uh, with that in mind, uh, head of the front, uh, going to be dealing with some instability. We're going with a Haynes 4 today. So uh, keeping that in mind. And then um, with our down slope and down valley winds, those will be ending today about uh, 1000 and then we'll lose our inversion and we'll start to see those uh, southwest winds kick in. So keeping that in mind, stay safe today and watch out for our uh, cold frontal passage. Morning, everybody. Uh, Dave Palmer. I'm uh, a rep for the Rogue River Siskiyou. So, uh, you know, we're getting there. Uh, things are winding down a bit, and uh, you've done some great work over the last 35 plus days. So, thank you. Uh, your efforts are recognized and appreciated. Uh, you know, if whether you're heading to the line or you're demobbing and moving on, keep making uh, good decisions. Keep uh, heads up, and uh, let's get everybody home safe.